Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Ms. Honda. Good evening. How are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Great. What about Mr. Serhat? Oh, he's not connected with the audio. All right. So are you ready, Dunia? Yes, I'm ready. Good. And Mohammed is ready too. And let's see. I don't know, Mr. Serhat didn't connect yet. His audio. Okay. All right, let's wait a little bit for the other students to join and then we will start. Yes, Mr. Serhat. Yes, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Fine, thanks, how are you? I'm doing good. Are you ready for tonight? Yeah, I am ready. Good job. So you are well prepared. Yeah. If you want, I can no, just I will go ahead. Great. And we have another student is coming. All right. Okay, and then we will start. <coughs> Good evening, Mr. Samian. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Great. Are you ready for tonight? Yeah, we are ready. Great job. So who wants to do it first? Like the one. Um, we have oh, your activities. Time. So who wants to do it first? We are just ready to listen to you and share with us the information you prepared. Yeah, I am ready because I think in my presentation it will take time. Okay, so Mr. Serhat, you start first. Do you want me to make you a host so that to share the screen? Yeah, yeah, for sure, if you can. Okay. Let me make you host. All right, but uh, after you finished, make me host again because I cannot make the others as a host. Yeah, it's okay. All right, now you are you are the host. The host now. Yeah, you can okay, share the screen. Me. Okay, just give me one moment. Sure, take your time. Okay, teacher. One moment. Display here. Presentation. Well, it's related to my field, but I think it will be a little bit boring. It's okay. We will learn something from it. Yeah, I hope so. I don't know. Is it clear? Yeah, we can see. Okay, welcome everyone to my presentation. My name is Serhat Khalid Haji. I am graduated from the Faculty of Special Planning Engineering. My study is related to special planning. How would you how would you plan a city or how would you plan a urban or a rural area? Mm -hmm. Well, my thesis my thesis project was about the effect of the typology, how its effect on the street, how the effect of typology of street pattern and how it affect on the accessibility within the city. The case study of my area and my analysis was Zaho City. Yeah. Yeah, this is the outline for my presentation. I just, I will start by introducing some introduction to my topic and then I will give you a literature review. After that, I will start by methodology and after, 
Furthermore, I will give you the, my result and discussion. Finally, I will sum up with the, some recommendation and final conclusion. Well, many you don't know about the street network. The street network is interconnected of street patterns that regulate the transportation within the city. Mm -hmm. And the typology is considered with the classification character of the street type, like the, uh, some pattern of the street are different, has different character. And what is the accessibility? It is uh, a quality of easy access that you can reach and in given amount of area, like accessibility can be defined of you when you are reaching an area with uh, this time, so this give you an accessibility within the street network. My study area is was located is a district of seven district of the Duhok Governorate. It's away northwest of Duhok City, fifty five kilometers away. And some why I did this study, I did based it because there was no consideration during the development of the city, and there was shortage of accessibility that. Uh, made a uh, congestion within the city and there wasn't a street element uh, that uh, like there wasn't requirement for street element during like designing and some other stuff related to urban design and finally i find out that where a regular street pattern has been connected to each other so by this, while I find this problem, I started by introducing some research question, what I have to do for this research. Uh, first of all, I just uh, started, like I would give some, what guidelines can be put forward to improve accessibility within Zaho city in order to improve the situation of congestion. Yeah. In order to, in order to improve the congestion and give a guidelines for the accessibility, you need, first of all, you need to, to analyze the city. What are the current conditions of the street pattern? Like you will first start by analyzing the current situation and then you will give some guidelines. Is it clear? Yeah. Still now. Yeah, and after that, my, my objective was analyzing the current condition and putting guidelines to have a sustainable street network. Yeah, and uh, typology of street pattern, I have just chosen five types, five characters of the street, like are they are very famous, uh, famous within urban designing. The type was uh, grid iron and fragment carpet and lollipop. Each of them have different character and different connectivity within the street network. Yeah, and this was the conceptual framework, like what I have to collect to or in order to do some guidelines for the for planning street network. Mm -hmm. Like what are affecting street network, what are the elements of the street network, what are the principles for sustainable street network in order to have the sustainable street network, what you should take under consideration. Well, the chapter four was discussing about from where I have collected my data. Yeah. Yeah, I have collected my data from my case study area, use, yeah, from the users of area of analysis, and I have collected from area of analysis itself by uh, observation, and I, I, I did a participant observation there and from governmental agency, which are governmental department like Zaho Municipality and Zaho Traffic Directory. Those data has been collected and after that they've been analyzed in order to give guidance for improving the street network. And then I had come with some recommendations. During my study, mixed method approaches has been used in order like to be very efficient and I have covered everything. Like I've distributed questionnaire for users and interviews. I made an interview with the QO, QO, QO format, like traffic director. 
and I did observation, participant observation, and I bring in some secondary sources, which are documents. And by this way, I came with like rational. After I have collected this data, I distributed my sample of questionnaire based on specific element. Like I distributed from the age above 15th to 18th. I didn't part, uh, give my questionnaires to like children. Like, it's more to give your uh, questionnaire on like gender balance, considering the age group and some elements. My sample size was 14 questionnaire for whole each neighborhood, like my, I consider three neighborhoods, Zakrush, Kafmara, and Historic Island of Zaho, which is a center of city. In addition, rational selection of area analysis has been made based on six criteria, which is as following. I will not talk about this so much because it will take so much time. And after that, my, my key research question was being specified to three dimension, and this uh, dimension has been specified to sub research questions. And here, all of my data has I identified how, like, from where and how I have gotten this data. Yeah. And yeah, and this is our more result. It's showing the topography of of fragment parallels from Zagros neighborhood, from Shkafmara, and from historical island. Yeah, and those are some graphs. It's showing the observation with the SCAD study area. And this is uh, local level of connectivity within each street pattern. The red color, it is shows the high connectivity street area. Like this one, it is, has high connectivity area, for instance. And this was, it is highly connectivity area. And this one too. Mm -hmm. Here I have measured the block size within my neighborhoods, like block size standards should be followed by 91 meters to 183 meters, according to Steiner. So there was no follow up by the municipality for block size regarding to the, like they are regular or irregular. So there wasn't any follow up by the municipality. Yeah. And I find in that, I find in the Guru's neighborhood, there was a high medium connectivity rather than Shkafmara neighborhood, it was medium connectivity area because here there was so many interest, was less intersection density. Here was the intersection density was too high. And this is for centers of Zaho city. Yeah. And this is for external connectivity, like how external connectivity of the neighborhoods is affecting on the street network. I will not discuss it so much. And this uh, graph shows the intersection density of each neighborhood. Here it, here it is true, like Shkafmara neighborhood has the highest density of intersection, like you can see in the figure, uh, this map, you can see there is so many intersections, this effect on the congestion and it increase traffic congestion, so. Yeah. And this is according to some standards of like, you have, you will create block size of each neighborhood. Yeah, and those graph also visualizing what junction and minimum distance from junction should be from the public routes. And here is my, here is the final summary of finding the block size were not shaped, uh, the, sh the block size shapes, uh, size shape and number of blocks were not followed by any standard. Notes entry and exited in all area of analysis almost were similar. Zagruna's neighborhood characterized by lowest number of density besides Kalmara was has the highest number of nodes. Uh, nodes, it's mean intersection density like, yeah. So this is finding of institutional dimensions. I will not discuss it because it is so much. And here it is finding of social dimension like, since I have distributed my questionnaire for the users, it is considering a social dimension because the social community has participated with my study. And they are saying 60%, they say there is a connectivity region exit and entry points. And here you can see, they say 
more than 100 trips are done for this neighbor for all three neighborhoods like if an if an area there is more than 1000 trips per a day it is considered as a congested area so as for this also the graph shows so many results so here is my recommendation. I give some long, short term and long term, medium term and long term. Just here I will discuss long term plan, integrate like integration in the development area planning, the designing new neighborhood. There should be there should be integration between the development development area and uh, the developing area, and so there should be suitable intersection density and the typology of street patterns should be responded to emergency response like emergency response while like fire or an emergency situation that the network has should be more accessible um, for the block size length of block size should be up to standards and safety and social of of people uh, safety and social of people should be considered with that typology that means uh, you have to, the street have to have those points so that to know if this street or uh, standards or the patterns, the, does it have it or not, then you can recognize that it has a good uh, network, yeah? Yeah, a sustainable street network. Sustainable street, yeah. Because uh, it's yeah. so hard to like to just recognize if this street or this place, this neighborhood has a good connection. Yeah, when well, when the neighborhood have a suitable typology and suitable block size, and safe, safety and social element has been considered, you can say this street network is sustainable street network. Yeah. If, yeah, that's if it is missing this, if it is missing this point, it will not be considered a sustainable street network because it will affect emergency response, block size, safety of people, social of people, like uh, people will not like walking in the street and so on. It will affect so many other elements. And what about if this street has a good network connection uh, and has yeah, all, it will the, all the things, but it was so crowded, <laughs> the net will work uh, sustainably or not? Well, well, it is depends on the type of the typology of the street. Some like if you have if you have a cul de sac, that's it cul de sac. It just means this street who has a dead in it. Yeah, yeah. Like if you, you will go to the street and the, there is a dead in it, you will just have to come back. So this cannot be a su sustainable street because it will consider if it has dead in it, it will be considered social interaction high. And it will be safe more, but it won't. It won't be sustainable. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. So what I mean, like the street network should consider, like grid iron pattern of the street, fragment parallel of street, called de sac, and so on. It depends on the topography of land and some other elements. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So finally. In three area of analysis, there wasn't a specific standard of the typology. And uh, a street being planned and designed by SIP. There wasn't follow up by standard block size intersection, density junction requirement, a lack of response to emergency. Just this is miswriting, mistyping. An institutional, an institutional like the governmental department, municipality and traffic directorate of Zahu does not follow any integration between typology of city pattern and social and environments. Yeah. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, you can ask. This is my references. Yeah, I got everything and it was great. That was really amazing. You know, it, it shows that you are good in your file uh, field to talk about the things and searching for the data. Uh, you showed yeah. pictures, yeah, analyzed everything. That was really great job. And that means you are successful in your uh, specialization. Okay, but I have only Thank one you. question. In the last well, slide, well, well, yes. the last slide, yeah. uh, you know, Zaho one is moment. a place that is so high. Don't you think that the connection of the network should be better than the places that is low? Just pardon one moment. Let me go to the slides so I can. It was the last, last one. 
one moment just let me go I yeah those really... pictures are great to show that the red one yeah all, everything i have designed by so many other programs so it's it was taking me so much time yeah it is but it's a great so, job yeah thank you sorry pardon what was your question like it was a general question like zaho is a place it's a little bit higher there is a mountains there should be uh, places that network would work uh, better than the other places that are lower. Do you think that it's right or it depends on the typology of the place? Pardon, I can hear you. Sorry, teacher. Or oh, maybe my network is not good. Now, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, it says my network is not stable. It's okay, but but kindly, can you repeat your question? Yeah, I will. So it was in the final conclusion that you said it's not followed by standards, block size. So it followed by what? Sorry. Thank you, Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, sorry. What was your question? I, yeah, I know it's my net. It's not good. In the, the second, um, second one. The last one, final yeah. conclusion, the second one. You said it's not followed by the block size and the interactions and, you know, so standards. So it followed by what? Yeah. Well, it was randomly planned. So this is the main reason. Yeah, according to my analysis, I like I analyzed three area of analysis. Like they are from different time. Like the gross neighborhood, it's like from 18, in 1950s. And from like uh, before 15th decades like this, and uh, Shkafmara, it is a new neighborhood, and historical island of Zaho, it's the central city of the Zaho, it's the oldest neighborhood of the Zaho. So even all three area has not been followed by any standard. So it is shows, like it is illustrate that there is no consideration of typology from the beginning of planning of this city. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, because maybe so because lack of time, I couldn't like explain so many details for you. Sorry. No, it's okay. One but moment. it takes a lot yeah. of time. Yeah, because there is so many details. Like I couldn't like I didn't want to like take all of time for me. But I think you did great. That's enough because uh, you just told us general ideas about the connection. Yeah. That was really yeah. uh, I like it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me this opportunity like for introducing my presentation. Yeah, you're welcome. Inshallah, you are successful and you can see the future in front of you that if you're working like this on your field, that means you'll be successful. Thank you so much. I hope so. All right, you're welcome. Guys, do you have any questions to him? Dinya, Mr. Sam, do you have any questions? No, I don't have any questions. I think everything was clear. Yeah, he, he cleared very well. Okay, so Mr. Serhat, now your time is up. And thanks again yeah. for sharing this information with us. Can you please make me host again? Yeah, okay, for sure, one moment. Stop sharing, it's uh, next to the name written more. Yeah, yeah one moment. Uh, yeah, you are now the host, I think. Yeah, you are host. Yeah, I'm a host. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, you. who wants to do next? Which one of you? Guys? Yeah, I can do it. All right. So, Dunya, 
I'll make you a host. And uh, did you prepare slides or do you just talk about it? Really, I prepared slides, but I don't know what happened to my laptop, so my mobile phone, so I make it a uh, picture. So yes, I have slides. All right, so let me make you a host. It's okay if it's pictures even. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> Now your host. Okay, really, I uh, want to talk about my department, like Mr. Sarah, but that I will know that he was talking about this uh, department, so I thought about uh, some interesting thing. Yeah. So let me show that. Yeah. All right, we are listening. Do you know how to share it? Good. Straight up, right now? Yeah, make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, we can see. It's okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Good evening, everyone that you know me. I'm Junior Farah. Now I'm going to discuss about the strange rule around the world. That we have the many world that have the strange rules, strange culture that they depend on it. For example, the, the, the let's now that what's the different culture, culture that all we know is an idea and customers and social behavior of a practical people or society. So the, the culture is that the return back to the nationality, to the uh, place and the country of these uh, the people. So the different cultures that we have and the various belief behavior, the language and the, the experience considered the unique to member of this uh, special ethnicity, near race, national origin. So it's the culture, we have the many different cultures that we know every country that we say it have the specific thing, specific uh, every uh, in every uh, thing, every specific thing. Yeah. Mm. However, you heard about the strange behavior. Yeah. At any country, uh, did you hear it? Yeah, I heard. Um, just I saw, not heard. I saw like Indians <laughs> do like strange behaviors. You see, when they worship different gods and do something like it's, yeah. it's funny. Yeah. Yeah, you are right. So let's talk about another countries. Uh, for example, the first one, Thailand. Thailand is the, the uh, place, the, the country that shouldn't uh, never step on the money. If you step in on the money, it's illegal in Thailand, stepping by any uh, currency of this country because of the, the this money is faced of the king painted on it. So you can't do it. If you do it, you will be a criminal offense in the Thailand. Oh, yeah. 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 And the, the, another thing that have in Thailand that they have who is who uses the three figure signs government for put them in jail. Uh, the, these uh, three finger signs, they use it by the purchase. Uh, put there, yeah. The, the, when they use it for the uh, the freedom and uh, uh, equality and the, the fraternity, so the government will uh, be will judge him will uh, go him into the jail if someone do it like this. Yeah, yeah, because of the, they do it repeated again and again, so it's the, it will be the negative point on this country. So, and the, last year in the 2020, also they, they revived back this uh, uh, this sign. Uh, I think we have ten minutes left. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, so revive it by, by this, again, by the protesters. So this his, this country make it, this sign irregular. If anyone do it, they will be in jail. Yeah, so they, they yeah. can't, like, they don't have the right to ask for, like, ask for their rights and then make uh, something like, as the law says, they can't do it? They will get no. in jail? They will go to jail, yes, because they do it uh, long ago and return back, revive it back again. So it's make it uh, an illegal thing in the uh -huh. Thailand. So anyone can do it again. Yeah, so yeah. it's illegal. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And also in Russia, we have the Russians 
that all we know that they don't smile in Russia, you know, uh, anything in the Russia, they have the stone face. These people in Russia, the communication is not uh, acceptable to smile uh, at the stranger. What? So you don't have to smile? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if, if I go yeah, there, okay. For example. Yeah. For example, if you've been in Russia and you smile to uh, someone there, they will ask you, do you know me? Do you know each other? Do you want to talk uh, with us? Yeah. Oh my God. That's why I see in the films that their face is like this. Yeah, really. It was like this. And even I wrote about it, it's even in the uh, photos, if you wanted to take a photo and anything, they, you will say cheese or smile or anything. Even they don't do like do this. Oh my God! The I rush, yeah. This. If they smile it, if they smile it, that they each other, they wanna maybe they wanna uh, like a point. They wanted to say, come and come to talk with us like this. Yeah. Yeah. That's a normal know. way. They don't smile. E. Okay. If, yes. if I go there, they're gonna kick me out because I'm always smiling. Really, <laughs> really. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not just there. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, they, they think they thought about that the smile uh an invitation, invitation to talk, yeah. That mm -hmm. I said, and also uh yeah, say taking pictures. So um the do you think the control so, uh, yeah, this uh, uh question for you. Do you think you can control yourself? Do not smile at the uh Russian no, no way. <laughs> yeah, no. I cannot. Yes. You know what? Their face is very funny because it's just like uh, they are. They got bored in life. I'm not smiling, yeah. and I, I just if okay. I control myself to not smile, I'm, I'm gonna smile of their faces. Yeah, and they will treat you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, okay. Yeah. Thank God I cannot right. go to Russia, and I never go there. Yeah, <laughs> it's better. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the, we have the uh, things, the Korea. In the Korea, they don't write the name by the red ink. Okay. The name, yeah. When they write a name by the red ink, they mean that this person is going to die. It's died. But, but if you write the name uh, of the student and the name that he's alive by red ink, that means that you want, uh, you want them to die. Oh, yeah. Get yeah, so one. names... Yeah, names in the Korea it isn't writing by uh, red, right? Pencil, pen, yeah. Those are really strange behaviors. Yeah, really. <laughs> if you do, if you, it's still the same thing. If you go here and do mistake, write the name by the red, it will be a point of view. But in Kurdish, you know what, in Kurdistan, if you don't find a pen uh, and you found the red pen, you will use it and it's okay. Yeah, but of course. If that happened yeah. to you there, oh no. Yeah. That means you're <laughs> dead. The person came back to you, yeah. Do you want me if you don't want me to die? Oh yeah. yeah. That means you're yeah. wishing for it's someone to die, and that's rude. Yes, it means like this, yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And in Norway. In Norway, no hacking in Norway roads. Really, it's the best thing. I wish to have it in the whole country. That the hacking uh, honk honk in Norway uh, isn't. Uh, they use it just for the emergency purpose. They didn't use it uh, all the time because they uh, think that it will be cause the uh, a person a pink of the of drivers. Oh, that's great. That means it's a car. yeah, really great. Yeah. <laughs> We really, really need this rule in our country. Ola, in Kurdistan, this rule doesn't work. Yeah, you are not. Here is Shefkhana. You are right. Exactly, the, um, uh, especially the taxi. Yeah, especially All the, the time they honk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is about the Norway. Ah, I, I'm going to ask you all, guys. Do you have... Uh, all, uh, and we have any strange, have anything that's about in our country? Um, here in Kurdistan? Yeah. All right. Um, 
Yeah, like the horn. That is so boring. <laughs> yeah, you are right. <laughs> smiling is okay. Smiling is okay here. Yeah. What But about teacher, the others, guys? It just happened in teacher. Yeah. I was a horn. I think it just happened in our build because there's a, a big city. But if you come to the Hawk or Zaho, it's stranger if you choose the horn. It's really a shame. Really? It's type of shame. Oh. Yeah. So it works. If someone is just put a horn and you look at all them like, what's happened? What What do you do? Why do you do that? It's a shame. That's you know. Uh, here we will come. Interview. We will come to the hook. Okay, then, Mr. Samia, so you are going to come, please. Yeah, now I'm living in Zaho, but uh, I stay in Arbil for more than four years, so I know what's there and what's in the hook and or Zaho. You know what in Erbil they see they yeah. use the horn just like saying yeah, hello. I know. like beep means hello. <laughs> it's yes. a traffic light it's red, but <laughs> they put a horn. I don't know why it's yeah. really a it has okay, Mrs. San, let me tell you, it has a lot of meanings. Uh, one peep it means hello. Okay. Another peep okay. means uh thank you for letting me go because someone was yeah. so fast. Your score for <laughs> yeah. communication. Yeah. yeah, it's a communication and it's uh it has a lot of as a thing also teacher. teacher what thing. about long peep? What is it mean? It's like take a side or what? Yeah, it has a lot of meanings. And we have one peep for like please go, I'm fast. Or let me go. I'm faster than you. Make it please for me. Yeah. We use yeah. them in just for emergency. Like for example, someone have a uh, sick and want to go a hospital, or there's immediately come to your car. You'd put a uh, horn, but wow. otherwise it's type of shame. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Who, yeah. who's who lives in Arbil, Mr. Sarhad? You too. Mm. Oh, I also live in Zaho. Mm -hmm. yes, Me, I'm living there. Okay, Dunya, uh, have you ever seen when someone is getting married? Yeah, yeah, I said that for the thing also, they use the horn. <laughs> oh my God, that's disaster. Yeah. You know, beep, beep, yes. beep, beep. Yes. You will get, oh my God, your head is like bumped. Mm -hmm. So you will get married really for yourself. Okay. Why you make us boring? <laughs> Let's all the people know it. I'm getting married. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Please make <laughs> attention. I'm getting married. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, guys, um, if you have any like answers and anything for this, like stranger as strange cultures and things, you can tell Dunya. Any of you. All right. Okay. Left and rejoin. Uh, we don't have time. Yeah, one minute. All oh, right. So, Dunya, did, did you finish? Really? Yes. Yes, I finished. Okay. Do you have any questions to Dunya, guys? No, just she did a great job. Yeah, it's a great job. That was a, like, generally good idea and culture about the other countries. Some things I didn't. Okay, Dunya, I was talking about your presentation. The slides were amazing. It was joyful to see. And it was too easy to understand. I mean, it was not a confused thing to, I mean, your field is like, um, is generally understandable. And it was so easy. You made it easy. Okay, I enjoyed the presentation and it was really amazing. You cleared very clearly and good job. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That was from your, uh, just connected with your field? No, no, my field is different things, very hard, civil engineering. So I do write it from the. Oh, okay. <laughs> But it was a, not like the topic was enjoyable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Dunya. Okay. Welcome, I'm, welcome. I'm a host now, yeah. Okay, Mr. Sam, can you do it? Teacher, yeah. All right, let me make you a host. Did you prepare okay. slides or just talk? I just prepared some slides. Okay, so that's good. Now you are a host now. So you can see my screen, yeah? 
yeah, now it's clear. Okay, teacher. Today I'm talking about the hacking. Uh, it's about, it's related to my department also, like as our guys talk about uh, the subject that is it related on his department or her department. So today I'm talking about the hacking um, because it's uh, now it's uh, so available, so famous in uh, in our country. Just someone knows a little bit of, of hacking and uh, our people don't have uh, any many information about how to protect yourself. So, uh, so I decided to, to prepare this subject. So, but uh, at the first, I want to say I don't make a lot of uh, slides. Just I I prepare a little bit. So it's okay. You all, can all uh, explain yeah. more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So as a first, let me talk about the history of hacking. When the first time computer or the system is be, have been hacked. hacked. So first computer hack was in late 1916 when Bell Labs successfully hacked and modified Unix operating system. I want to say Bell Labs is a he's a young teenager. I think his age about uh, 17 or 18. Oh. He's, uh, the, yeah, he's the first hacker in the in the world, I can say. And uh, he just uh, started a, a hack a Unix opera, uh, operating system. Unix operating system is type of operating system like Windows, Mac, yeah, just like that. So in 1918s, people start to hack computer system to again access to conventional information. And after that, after the, the computer is famous between the people, people start to hack uh, the system just to get some uh, information or stolen information. Mm -hmm. So there's a several group for electronic gangs, it's like um, type of group. So he, they, hack, uh, they hack group. For example, we have an enemies group and uh, we have a several name of a group. For example, now in Kurdistan, mm -hmm. there's a famous group. Uh, it's, uh, its name, uh, 1877, uh, mm -hmm. it hacked a lot of page in that's typically for government, uh, uh, it's hacked, yeah. yeah. So uh, gangs began fighting in early 1990s, uh, 1990s. So this group started to hack in 1990s. So yeah. after that, as a government, every government decide to have a law for who is hacking. So mm -hmm. uh, the law, it's uh, just... Um, how can I say, put on, and it, it just wrote in, in 1990s. So yeah. the government decided to uh, arrest, arrest everyone who hacked. Yeah. For bad situation, yeah. So let arrest, me talk about it's arrest. Arrest, yeah. I just forget. Arrest. Okay. So what is a hacker? There is half a several type of hacker, okay? Yeah. For example, computer program, uh, like I said, um, there are three types of hackers. One is a synistic, skillful computer programming or user, another use computer to gain unauthorized access to data and uh, direct knowledge toward criminal acts, such as uh, distribution of, I can't say pronounce correctly, pirate, pirated software, game, virus, and worms that could virtually shut down the system. So the, kind, the third kind is between the good and the bad. So it means we have a several type of hacker. I'm talking in the other slide, uh, who is, what is, the, is this type of hacker? We have, a, like I said, uh, we call black hat. Yeah. And uh, also we have a gray hat and white hat. We have a several type of hacker. So I will discuss, uh, I will talk about what uh, each of them. But do, they have, that, they... do they have really a, like a hat, colorful hat, like gray hat, or it's, oh, no, it's, a, just, name? it's just a name? It's yeah. just a name. Okay. Yeah. Before of that, let me uh, talk about the dark side of hacking. What's the dark side of hacking? The dark side of hacking has three main motivation or purpose. The one first one. Uh, to gain unauthorized access in order to temporarily 
or destroy in information like everyone everyone know the yeah. hacker do that just for destroy information or stolen information yeah, yeah. just like that and also uh, like uh, the number two i said for stalling or access the system or uh stole some info uh important Service. information from the government or from the person yeah. and the third one uh, the third one is just used for tour tourism it like uh, some uh, for example tourists just hack some system and uh, have a planning and do it some planning to do uh to kill someone it's just like that yeah like uh we have uh isis like created something like this yeah yeah two years ago but, but all of them just use the dark net for his job or his actions so uh, we, uh, the hacker use dark net just because uh, there's a, a safe safe place for them nobody know who is this and which, which country is just a talk to another side so they use a dark net yeah so hackers created the darkness yeah yeah Everyone, every hacker have to use a dark net uh, page because it's a safety for them. Or if, if for example, I'm trying to hacking and to use a Mac system or Windows, it will be easy to other one uh, uh, find my location. So yeah. you have to the hacker uh, use this way to change his location or location to another country. For example, I'm just hacking in Kurdistan, but uh, my location maybe maybe show in Germany or America. So yeah, that's can use so this, dangerous. Uh, yeah, it's really so dangerous because of that. Hacker in hacker is danger. Yeah. So like I said, there's a several type of hacker: black hat and gray hat and white hat. Yeah. So let me talk about what is this? Black hat, the worst kind of hacker. Uh, black hat just. Um, Hug everyone, just sometimes for fun, sometimes uh, don't have any purpose for hacking. So hack system for malicious purpose or self gain, also known as crack. Also, it cracks the system. For example, now uh, when we use uh, some program, for example, Office or Windows or any any other pro any other program program, uh, we just have a crack. So the company, big company, it's it's a, a bad thing for big company, you know? Yeah. Because it it's like a program and uh, want some uh, money. So when the hacker just cracks them, you you can download uh, for free. So it's bad bad for big company. They will lose everything. Yes, they will lose. And also stealing password is a, uh, one of the famous things that uh, Black Hat do. And to use spam and those attack to bring server down, like you will see in us before two, two days, I think, as uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, and uh, Instagram, the server is down. It's just because of attack of those. There's uh, something attack your uh, hacker used, we call those, those attack. Yeah. So it's a type of uh, something when, uh, for example, I have a website, okay? Yeah. With yourself, a million of traffic uh, happened uh, between um, come to my website. So my server is down and can't uh, have a lot of people from of just for one minute. So it's down. Yeah. Uh, can't have this pleasure, can't take this pleasure on, on it. So it's down. And also some white memory of the other computer for fun. Like, like I said, just they are doing for fun, for stealing inf information or um, for do any, any other thing, just for fun. Uh -huh. There's no purpose. So yeah. it was like a black hacker. Yeah, yeah. that's a black hacker. Yeah. And we have another type, gray hat. OK? Yeah. Like I said, it's not mean have a hot piece of color is gray or or another it's just a name yeah so in a gray hack in the moral gray area for hacking hence the name same hot to 
some hack into the system with no malicious intent but without permission. Some follows in the system and then sells them to the company or higher bidder. Yeah. Not like uh, buy white or uh, hot white, uh, white hat or black hat. Uh, like I said, there's between black and white uh, hat. Yeah. They do for purpose, okay? They are hacking yeah. for purpose. They are not hacking for me for anything, for uh, nothing. So if they, if he, he is hacking me just because of money, of their stuff as something, he won it. So, or sometimes he just like uh, uh, point number three, I said, some find follows in system and then sell them. Their stuff as several companies said, if anyone can, um, find any mistake in website or uh, on my app just uh, i will uh, just tell me i will sell it or i'm, I'm i will give he, him or her money yeah is that so, how facebook can uh, can buy whatsapp yeah. and the other like instagram they connected with each other is that how they did like a gray hat it's not like that it's just like uh, my mean when uh, there's a problem in the system, the gray hack find find uh, find this problem in website oh, yeah. or app. So they tell the company and company or his self uh, his uh, solves this problem for company. Company give him money. Yeah. That's a, okay. yeah. That's a gray hat. I got and, it. Yeah. And another one is white hat. It's a good guys in hacking for or sometimes you can say is a government guys. Uh -huh. So some that's legal. Have, yeah, it's illegal. Some have successful job hacking into a company system and the patching the security follows. And like I said, uh, white hot is just to make uh, system stronger and um, his security make big a big wall between black hat and uh, other hacker. Uh, it's just a build a security. So white hat hacker are the creator of antivirus program and firewall. Like I said, now they just make some antivirus because there's uh, the black hat and gray hat just make some virus and just put in your computer, maybe steal everything or shut down your system. So uh, the hot was uh, the white hat just make some antivirus to protect the system. Oh, yeah. And also, they try their best to outfit black hat at every turn. The, in this sentence, I will tell the, the main difference between all of that. What a white hat create the security system and the black hat try to break into them. So uh, that's all about uh, I make it in my yeah. uh, slide. But there's a lot of things we can't talk about it in hacking and how to screen it. Yeah, uh, I know. Protect yourself, yeah. It's so deep. Yeah, of course. But I have a question, like which one is stronger? The, the black hat or the white hat? I can say uh, black uh, black hat is a stronger. Why? Because white hat, white hat just make, for example, antivirus, okay? Yeah. It's make it, and after the block, black hat maybe take one day or two days, two days, just broke it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because of that, I can say black hat is uh, more danger. Yeah, that's good. I got it. But there's another yeah. question, like uh, the okay. what the great hat do, isn't it just like a trick? You know, they will destroy a service, and then they will tell you this service is not working. If you want to buy us with a like a low um, money, we can buy it to you. Isn't that like a trick they're doing? Uh, really, I don't get you very much when you buy something. Like they will make a trick. You know what's trick? Trick? Yeah, fail. Fail, fail to them? Yeah, okay. Yeah, they'll make a trick like we'll destroy down a service or just hack a service and they will tell the company that your service is not working well, but we can buy it, but in a low uh, amount of money. It's happened. Yeah, it's really so it's happened between hacker and companies just make some trick 
but it's not for big company okay because as a the big company have a special white hat uh, hacker so they know what is this but uh, for small company or for small app for for small business yeah it could be yeah and is it possible like um, the the country know that they have groups of hackers future uh, yeah every country every country now there's a several of hacker and can hack anything that they want uh, just for some purpose so but they can achieve it because like i said before there's a dark net and the hacker use a dark net for uh, losing your his location or her location mm -hmm. the government can find it easily yes yeah, just so some of them is are unknown and some of them yeah, are known most of them is unknown when it's a, a little bit a little bit uh, clever but when it's just someone just started talking as a beginner he's a beginner it will, you can find that it, it's easy to find it yeah i got it yeah but most uh, hacker in kurdistan i think uh, use um, some program the other hacker from another country make it so that's a I, I, I can't say in Kurdistan we don't have a good hacker. Oh, the thank God we don't have it. Yeah, we don't have a good hacker. I, I can't say that. That's a good news. Yeah. Oh, right. So, Mr. Sam. Because thank all you. of them just use some tools or some program from other hackers. So, if the hacker should be programmer and can make a programmer, can make a virus, can make a server, and also when can, uh, for example, I'm sent you um, a link or just I sent you a picture it's make how to make uh, yeah but this that's picture, just this, like this telling link. just like telling when you send a link to someone just you are telling that person I'm gonna hack you okay that's like uh, sure. no one but you can't even you just when you to for example I sent you a picture maybe you know me you'd say that's only a picture you can't uh, you can't decide anything yeah it's like okay it's, it's a picture so i can open but when you open your system is down or hack oh yeah that's a yeah, trick a, yeah so because of that the hacker have to do that and uh, in, like i said in kurdistan just uh, use some tools or some program from other hacker yeah so i got that's it a bad news noise for hacker but it's good news for our for yeah. our so thank God, inshallah, we will not ever, never, <laughs> we will have it. Yeah, I think that because um, you can't have a good hacker in Kurdistan. Yeah, and my sister That's is open some link. But you will be safe. Yeah, you will be safe. And you know what? It's not like we are religious and Muslims. We don't want anyone to just get down and have a problem and do something will harm people. Ah, you, you think that, but other one don't think that. Maybe, uh, for example, I know someone just hug for fun. Uh, also, he is a Muslim and he know maybe he is a pride, but when he do it, it make his uh, funny. Uh, because he did so. that, even if it's for funny, the other per person that he hacked will be like nervous, worried, and why you do, do why you make people like this? Even if it's fun, it's not good. Mm, it depends on the person because if you can hack a type of personality like uh, that to know uh, some security or some uh, like not security, secret or hide information, they just want to know because yeah. of that it makes you happy. For example. Uh, there's a man and woman have a marriage and uh, the man is cheating her so the woman just want to know what he is doing so yeah there's this time a lot of it's things. okay it's okay but for fun no it's not but how can do that for her for fun yeah that's not good yeah. you know i wish there was something for the person who's studying it or hacking things before starting studying, there were a system like, are you a good person? It would say, yes, you can go study in hacking or IT, anything that is connected we with. We don't have any course or 
because of I'm um, software engineering, I already I don't have any part or any subject about the hacking, but uh, because it's a uh, different from that, just it make you a programmer or website maker or developer, some developer. But if you wanted to be hacker, you have to know information about the whole programming, especially Python programming. And also you need to have uh, make some, uh, have a familiar with a several type of operating system, especially for Linux or Kali Linux is one of the famous uh, things that hack are doing the other system. Are they so, creating the system themselves to hack? Yeah, yeah. It's yourself a lot of uh, system hacker use it. Oh yeah. For example, like I said, Kali, Lin Kali Linux, or also we have a system called Red Hat. Red Hat. It's a system. Yeah, it's a system. Yeah. So if you was... see, if you see, maybe your mind is blown. So it's just, a, it's everything, it's writing. It's a black Windows, it's just you have to writing. So, but in Kurdistan, we don't have this type of hacker, just use a graphical or GUI program. They yeah. can't use this type of writing and hacking and other one. But Kali Linux, it's a best option to our hacker to improve themselves. Yeah, that like uh, it's something written. I cannot read it. Like it's a slash it's H P T. I I don't know what's what is it. Yeah. All oh, right. So, yeah, guys, do you have any example, questions? Let me show you something. All right, sir. Okay. Okay. Just let me show you some code, okay? All right. If you see, there's a code, okay? We have a lot of code there. And how can you use this, this type of uh, coding? But this one is just for uh, business program. But they, the hacker have to know what doesn't mean. What, what's the private static final? And what is everything in there? that yeah. I wrote it here. So if the hacker don't know, it can be hacker. Yeah. So thanks yeah. so much, Mr. Sam. That was a great information. Thank you, too. You did great. And the slides are great, too. So Just guys, so do you have good. any questions to him? Dunya, Mr. Serha, do you have any questions? Well, I couldn't understand what he is meaning by gray hat and black hat and white hat. Can you repeat it, Mr. Samia, I think for me? But okay, I will tell, like I said, black hat is just uh, hacking everything that they want and gray hat, gray hat is just used for some purpose. They hack for some purpose. And white uh, hat hacker is just uh, yeah, it's legal hacker, work for company or work for uh, some uh, some type of government. Yeah. It, That's okay. It. okay, well done. Thank you for your presentation. I really appreciate your clear, yeah, clarification. Yeah, that, that was something. a brilliant job. Thank you, teacher. So that's all for me. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks a bunch. Okay, you, you created slides and you, you shared with us. It was a new information for us. We learned something from you and you cleared, like um, you clarified the things very easily, simply and understandable. It was, it's very important to let the other people understand you. Did the people were in front of you understood you or not? The people understood or not? Did they get the information or not? This is important. And mm -hmm. you you all created something I understood all. And they were all important. The culture, the internet connections, okay, the hackings, they are all important. And I'm recording this lesson because there are some other people, okay, they can watch the video and they can benefit too. So guys, you did something like really amazing job. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome.
Thank you too for preparing yourself. So like, I don't know what to say. Great like that. Didn't expect that, you know? Yeah. Uh, teacher, I have uh, one question. Well, kindly, can you give us some like uh, negative feedbacks of my presentation or like if you could send me some feedbacks? No, at or... all. Uh, there, is, there is no negative feedbacks because your field was something you should have prepared like that. It's not your fault. The field is like that. You know, the pictures, even some people, if they don't understand, that means... Uh, this is your field, it's, it's connected to your specialization and you know if it's necessary or not, especially the pictures. We, well, it was so complicated, but uh, we could understand it. Like it was useful to know which place is good to have a real net connection and by well, follow what? Well, what I mean, like uh, giving uh, comments on my presentations technique, my or my English, so it would be more help for, helpful for me for like doing another presentation, like for a seminar for university. If there is something, please just tell me. So like I will develop the skills. Yeah, only put uh, not a lot of information in one slide. Like put uh, some information in one slide, not a lot in one slide. It will be so complicated to the to some the people the audience this only this one your english were great and the slides were great there were pictures to make us understand to see the situation to see the places the connection you you colored even the red one is the high one you know and the others everything the slides were amazing and try to use uh, punctuation too well okay. i i really have a bad punctuation while I am typing or writing anything. So. Yeah, you didn't, like Mr. Sam, I see your slide too. See, there's no punctuation, like full stop in the end. There's no full stop. Mr. Sam, had, you had the same one. There were no full stop at the end. Well, I just put the full stop on in, in the end of the paragraph. <laughs> no more than that. All of them, you should put when the, the sentence finished, there is a period, full stop. Yeah, Mr. Sam, there's no, no full stop. You don't like full stop, yeah? Yes, teacher, I don't like it. Okay, now there is some of them. See the last one? There yeah. is a full stop, but the others, there isn't. I forget it, yeah. Okay, so try to, like, the punctuation is not only the full stop. There's comma and using, course, see, Mr. Yeah. Sam, using the capital letter at the beginning. Some of them, about, yes. It's just about half hour I prepared because of that, just I prepared so fast. Yeah, I know, but try to be careful because of this. Even we as teachers make those mistakes. It's okay, but be careful about punctuation, not putting a lot of information in one slide. And when you are clearing, uh, ask in each slide. When you finish the slide, ask, is it clear or not? Then go to other slides. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so I don't have any like dunya. It was so clear. Dunya slides were so simple. A, a question, a sentence, and the country, the culture, the picture. It was clear. But that's because dunya's uh, topic was generally uh, simpler than yours. It's okay. But try to not put a lot of information in one slide. And yes, those are my comments. Your English were great and you clarified your specializations, your field, the topic greatly. You know, I could understand it. If I understood means it was great. So I'm really thankful to, I really enjoyed tonight's lesson. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, just uh, one question. When we have a last question, which day? The last uh, lesson. The last lesson. Yeah. Just don't put in on Saturday. It should have been like today should be the last lesson. But, oh. you know, one day the net didn't work. So we lost a lesson. Yeah. It will be, if you like, Saturday we will do it. If not, Sunday. Any more Sunday is better, I think. As you like. So okay. Sunday we will have our last lesson.
And Muhammad said, I prepared my presentation too, but suddenly he said that his uncle passed away. So it's okay, he, he will do it on Sunday. We will listen to Muhammad and we will do our lesson too. Okay, teacher. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna send you a survey. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. I'm gonna send you a survey after I finish up this meeting. Try to tell me your comments, what was good about the course, what was not good, uh, any, any, anything, your suggestions about the course, uh, just, just try to fill up. I'm gonna send it right now. And you don't have a homework, be happy. Yeah, so that's good. That's good, yeah? This week you didn't have a homework. We have another thing more than impor important than homework, I think, like this activity or la last lesson. Yeah, because I didn't give you, because the movie you should have had time to watch and the topics for today you prepared had time to prepare. That's why I didn't want to make you busy of solving the homework instead of doing those things. That was a, That's why I didn't give you. So, guys, I don't want to take your time more than that. It's 10.20, okay? It's too late. All right, so thanks again. I really enjoyed tonight's lesson. You did a great Thank job. You, I see Thank all you, of you. you's future is great. The, your future you. is great. If you work hard like this, I mean, continue. Do not give up. Yes. So, you have, welcome. Do you have anything else to say or? No, just thank you so much for everything and for your recommendation and suggestion. You're also, welcome. We have. You're most welcome. Yes, Dunya, why are you quiet? <laughs> no, I hear you. Thank you, teacher, for everything. Okay. Thanks a bunch, too. And you're most welcome. Don't, it doesn't need to thank me. We have one minute too. All right, guys. So good night and have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.